Morning, everybody. Welcome to 307 Country. Well, today we're going to get the roof put up on this uh, horse shelter and attack room. Um, been a long time coming. <laughs> Other stuff got in the way, so that's how it goes sometimes. But uh, I'm going to show a few tips and tricks on the way I put metal down and make sure it's straight and square with the world so it looks good. Um, I built this so it, you know I know how it should be pretty square um, and everything should be pretty straight but in case you're building something putting a roof on something that somebody else has built and it's not all that great then this will kind of give you a few tips on how to make sure at least your metal comes out looking good so we'll get after this uh, roof see if we can get something done on it Alright, so the first thing you want to do is determine which way you're going to put your metal on your roof for your overlap. And you always want to start on the downwind end of the building and work upwind, and that way your sheets overlap with the wind, like the prevailing wind, not necessarily. Right now we got a southwest wind, but normally the wind blows out of the west northwest, so I'm gonna stack my metal towards the wind. That way your laps are always again with the wind, not having wind blow rain up under them or anything like that. Next thing, you know, get it fairly uh, close on your outside edge where you want it, and determine your overhang. go about five inches which is way more than I normally do but um, that's how I'm gonna do it on this one. So you want your overhang measure your overhang on this edge your starting edge don't worry about that one right now and we'll go put a screw up there that will be our pivot screw what I call that, a pivot screw. Um, so I'll go get that up there and we'll start getting some metal on. So I've got my edge out here. It's flush with the uh, fascia basically. So I'm just going to run the screw right here down on the flat. It'll be out of the way of the ridge cap. And, uh, That's what I'm going to call our pivot screw, and I'll explain that here in a minute. So we grab another piece. We'll probably put, probably put three, maybe four pieces on. And depending on how long your sheets are, kind of determines how far out you want to go to make sure you get everything square. But three pieces is a pretty good number. sure is that this joint is flush with each other this piece needs to come down a little bit like I said I ain't worried about my measurement out there right now now the way I do this on the bottom I don't I don't like putting screws in my ridge um, they do make seam screws 
that are shorter and stubbier and they just go through the two pieces of metal and not into the wood but um, the problem with running the screws on your ribs when they go into the wood is it'll suck that rib down and it'll spread that out and it'll make you run off square so what I do is just throw a pair of ice grips on here to hold this where I want it hold it flush there we go that one's flush I will screw the top just to hold it A lot of times what I'll do, another trick you can do is uh, if you have a, like you're overlaying a, a roof that's been sheeted with plywood and you want all your screws to be in the same spot on the sheet, I would, I've stacked, you know, my, all the metal that will go on one side of a roof and then drilled all my holes. You know, put a square on there, get a square line across, measure out a half an inch from the rib or whatever your pattern might be that you want, and drilled all the holes. And that way, you go up there, you're not fighting getting your screw started. And uh, when you're done, your screw pattern looks really nice. But uh, up here, I'm just going to eyeball it for the most part. Um, you know, I've got these two by four ones up here, and <clears throat> I can just go along and I have all my screw holes through my screws. Okay. So now we will get this. Now because I've got them all flushed down at the bottom and that's a good straight edge that is square it's not stretched out at the top or stretched out at the bottom because I ran screws into the ribs and moved it or anything like that so we'll go down and pull some measurements and get it straight so now I can pull my measurement here I was five inches over there and I'll double check that I'm six and a quarter here so this has to go up Now moving this isn't going to change this distance right here, but I'm going to move it this way and that will get me squared up. And see I'm pivoting on that screw over there. There we 
go. That is square with the building and straight. All the edges are good. And what this does, it keeps it from being a, a saw blade edge out here on this edge, trying to keep everything straight. You know, you'll get that sometimes. So on my seams, I just put a screw on both sides. That's how I like to do it. I could run one in the top, but I just prefer not to do them that way. that I ran that screw right down on top of a nail. What would the odds of that be? And this is used metal, it's got holes in it. I mean, this isn't, you know, a weatherproof, waterproof building. Just uh, shade for the horses. Little shelter, you know, windbreak, whatever, for them. So it's not, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so that's got that. We'll go ahead and get some more screws in and then throw the rest of the metal on. Maybe do a little time lapse on that. Once you get your first several rows up and square and everything's good, the only thing you got to worry about is making sure you're flush right there and that, that rib is seated straight where it's supposed to be and then that you don't get any humps or you know stretch it out or have it shrunk up or anything in between. Now I, I vice grip every piece that I put up just to get the first screw started because <coughs> if you just set it there flush and then you're trying to hold it get a screw started and you're sometimes it'll move the piece especially if that you know these are used so they got mastic on them which these were obviously put on wrong they were lapped wrong this was actually underneath this one and you can tell because the mastic's on top of this, but anyway, that's why I vice grip my every sheet is just to uh, hold it where I want it while I get some screws started.
we go. that outside edge first once I get that seam and that way it can't move while you're putting screws in the middle here Can't finger these screws with gloves on.
right. Well, that's got that. I didn't have any ridge caps, so I just cut a piece out of a one of the pieces of metal, and it wound up being long enough by about I had to cut about nine inches off of it. Yeah, that'll work for a ridge cap. I mean, this isn't. I didn't build this thing to be the prettiest thing in town, so give the horses some shade and keep the weather out of the tack room, keep our saddles dry. That's all I was concerned about. So, hope everybody's doing good, and uh, I think I'll call her a day on this one. Let's see off in the distance. We might get a little rain today. It'll be the first time in over a month. I actually heard a little bit of thunder there a second ago. Might get a little western this afternoon, but that'd be all right. Make the grass grow a little bit. It's pretty dry around here. It's been pretty bad. So, all right, everybody, take care. We'll see you on the next one. 307 out. Mm -hmm.